before I kick this video off, if you think I'm gonna be bashing PWIs like, don't go here, go to a HBCU, what are you doing? It's not that type of video. I'm simply gonna say the pros and cons of my experience, how it was for me being at a PWI. What's up YouTube and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna to be talking about being black at a PWI. Before we kick things off, we're gonna read some facts from trusty chat GPT. For enrollment rates, black students make up about 13 to 14% of total college enrollment in the US. This includes both undergraduate and graduate levels. The graduation rate for black students at a four-year institution is around 40%. This is lower than the national average for all students, which is about 60%. Black individuals earn about 8% of all bachelor degrees awarded in the US, with higher percentages in fields like education and social sciences. And last but not least, the percentage of black students earning master's degrees and doctoral degrees has been steadily increasing, though disparity still exists in certain fields such as STEM. So you can learn a little bit more about me. I went to Bethune Cookman University in Daytona, my bachelor's in health and exercise science, preclinical health. And now I'm currently a graduate student at the University of Central Florida, getting my master's in business administration and sports business management. It's a rigorous program. I recently found out they're like the top 10 in the country. I had no idea. I feel like I can truly tell you the pros and cons of going to a PWI as a black college student. I feel like to kick things off, let's talk about the, the challenges of going to a PWI. For me personally, I saw no one like me. You know, you look around, you maybe see like one other person like me in the distance. It's like, dang, like you just realize like I really am the minority. As you know, University of Central Florida is a huge campus. So you got so many people. So I'm thinking like, hey, I'm gonna find so many people that I can click with. But it's it depends where you go to, too. I first went there, I really felt isolated. I felt like being one of the few black students made me feel like an outsider. Almost, um, what do you call it? Almost like an imposter syndrome. It wasn't bad, but like, I'm just really sitting, looking around. I'm like, yo, there's really few students like me. One of the first things you'll realize going to a PWI is that in your class, if you're not the only black person, you'll be one of the only few black people in your class. So it could be a positive and negative, but it can add a little bit of pressure on you, making sure you know you show up to class on time, you get good grades, you don't want to look bad, you don't want to speak improper, you know, you just want to represent yourself in the best way possible. When you walk in, we being honest, first impressions mean a lot, like you getting judged off rip. You want to carry yourself in a professional way because you're in college to further your career opportunities. So you definitely don't want to show yourself in a negative way. Social media society definitely shows black individuals in a stereotypical way. So you don't want to want to show that. It adds a little bit of pressure because not only do you want to perform well for you, but I feel like you kind of representing the whole race. You ain't trying to look bad because like you got to put on. The next thing we'll talk about is microaggressions. You have to like really peep stuff because they're not going to you know, show it up front. Like, it'll be like subtle, subtle gestures. You could tell when people are not really messing with you. It could be, you know, I wouldn't say racist, but it could be bias or, you know, who they're more so comfortable with. Or they might not even realize, but you'll definitely experience some microaggressions. Everyone's not like that. Of course, you know, I met some amazing people, but of course, you have people who do show a little bit of microaggressions. For instance, I could be, be friendly talking to a group you can obviously see like they ain't really they ain't really messing with me kind of make it look like they don't see you at all i wouldn't say invisible but they give you your attention so you just gotta be be around the people who value you you don't want to um put yourself in situations to where you're constantly proving yourself to fit into a certain type of group you just gotta find your tribe you feel me the thing i'll throw in too is like i don't really feel that much love but when i was at an hbcu i felt like that dude you know, I have females coming up to me. They they want to talk to me, get my number and so on, you know, chit chat. But at the PWI, I feel like I really got to force myself to like really talk to a chick. And maybe if I was, you know, on a, a team or something, but it felt like they, they ain't really feeling me. It might be something I'm doing wrong or I might not be their type, but it is what it is. If you ask me, I feel like, you know, I dress nice. I have a good personality, um, treat people with respect. But hey, every chick, hey, they got their own type. At PWI, it may be a, a little bit tougher to talk to someone. Next up, I'll say talking to faculty of like individuals who really want to help you. Because we all have our cultural differences. It's going to be not for everyone, but it may be a little bit tougher to find someone who can like 
actually help you and understand you. You can meet like the best, the best faculty. Like they'll give you a whole list on what to do, but they need to make sure cater it towards you, like being a minority. Like I said, going to the corporate spaces is entirely different. So finding the right access to the resources is gonna be very important. For me, I did a lot of research and talking to different individuals and like the ones who I felt helped me the most are the ones I kept in contact with. Summing up, you wanna find someone who has a diverse perspective and can help you further your career. Now, this will be a perfect transition to talk about the benefits. The benefits I love about PWI is the networking opportunities. They have everything on their websites, social media, career fair events. You know, they have all the different tables at different companies to talk to them and give them your business card, tell them what you do see if you click with them. But the PWIs have a broad, a broad alumni network. So just hitting up people on LinkedIn, just because you go to that same school, hey, now y'all a connection. They could, you know, most likely hook you up. Be the reason you, you land that job you was really trying to get. They can provide you mentorships, internships, and more. Just going to a PWI gives you a broad network of alumni and other individuals to connect with to further your career. The next benefit about a PWI is the academic resources. You already know, like the class is gonna be on point. They hire the tip top professors. They're gonna make sure, challenge you, where it's not too tough, but where you're still learning and pushing your limits to get better as an individual, to work in your critical thinking, working as a team, group projects. They, they're gonna get you right. They're gonna get you right. But any academics, it depends on how you utilize it. If you don't use it outside of the classroom, you're learning nothing. The stuff at PWIs, or what they teach you, can really help you outside of the classroom. Another benefit at PWIs, they have tons of clubs and organizations, so you can find leadership roles and positions to get into. The organizations are great, but the one I went to or the one they have at school, like coming from an HBCU, it, it was not the same, I ain't gonna hold you. Like the students, it didn't feel like a, a black organization. It just felt like, oh, we just got the same skin color, let's just make a, make a club. It didn't really feel organized, if that makes sense. The people I met there, they was cool, but I just I just wasn't messing with it. It wasn't my cup of tea. The next benefit going to a PWI, your communication skills are gonna be on point. You're gonna be able to speak in corporate spaces, be able to speak in demographic areas where more so minorities. You be an effective communicator. Being an effective communicator means a lot. So it means, you know, no matter what space you go into, you're so used to being uncomfortable that anywhere you go to, you're comfortable. Confidence is gonna build up. You're not gonna care what people think. I guess increase your own self-awareness. Gonna really figure out who you are, what you like, what you don't like. Confidence is just gonna shoot up through the sky. At first, it's gonna be really scary. You're all by yourself, in a PWI. But once you once you get past that little uncomfortable phase, anything else becomes easy. For instance, if you saw my New York City trip, I was going to the corporate spaces. You know, I'm shaking their hand. I'm looking them in the eye. I'm wearing a nice suit, I'm handing them my business card. Outside of it, you know, we walking on the streets, you know, I'm having just as much fun talking to other individuals. So I feel like your communication skills is definitely gonna get better. No matter if you're introverted, extroverted, overall, it's just gonna build that type of confidence, like, yeah, you that, you that person. You're gonna be comfortable in your own skin. All right, to wrap it up, we said the cons or the challenges is that you can feel isolated, experience microaggressions, some pressure to represent, and maybe some cultural misunderstandings. But the pros, as I mentioned, is the networking opportunities, confidence that you build, your communication skills that get better, access to academics, the networking opportunities, organizations you can get involved in. So it really comes down to how do you want to experience college? In life, you're not going to always be able to be in the perfect situation. You might be in like the, the worst possible situation you could think of but that's because you think of it as bad. <laughs> it's all about what you think. It's all about perspective. Like, if you think you're gonna have a bad time, you're gonna have a bad time. If you think you're gonna have a great time to network and become the best version of yourself, you're gonna, it's gonna happen. So it really comes down to what you make of it. So don't let go into a PWI, even the HBCU, don't let any type of college you go to dictate how you're gonna make of it. It's all about you. It don't matter where you go. As long as you got your priorities straight, you got your goals of what you want to accomplish. Because again, you got to think long-term. As long as you know what you want to do, hey, you'll get it done. Be effective. Of course, you know, have fun in between. Don't be like a robot. You need rest time. You need to relax. Some days, you know, you just need to chill out. Take a deep breath. <sighs> but, hey, you got it. A PWI is not bad. It's what you make of it. If you made it this far, make sure you subscribe. 
I'm gonna make more of these type of videos of just me and you talking to the camera. I like these, you know, I don't always gotta work out, but if you enjoy the video, subscribe, until next time. One, two, three, it's a love phone. Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Drake is left the dope.